Never, in never. our morning round, <laughs> new findings about genetically modified foods. <laughs> They're made from organisms by altering DNA. GMO labeling isn't required in the U.S., despite worries about the potential health risk. A Consumer report study out this morning shows the surprising result of testing on cereals, chips, baby formulas, and more. Rashi Rangan is the magazine's director of consumer safety and sustainability. Good morning. Good morning. So what did your survey find? Well, we looked at about more than 80 processed foods uh, that contain corn and soy out there. We did about two samples of each. It's really a snapshot study, not drawing conclusions about any brand. But here's what we found out. If a product didn't have a claim on it, it was likely to contain GMO corn and soy. And then we looked at another a number of other labels that suggested GMOs were not used. And and sort of put those to the test as well. So why are GMOs bad for you? Yes, that's There's a lot I'm of wondering. controversy about GMOs. Unfortunately, they're not required to be proven to be safe before they get out on the market. So we're kind of learning that in a backwards direction. There are some concerning animal studies, not enough done in humans. But until then, we know more than 90% of people want to know if GMOs are in their food. And so we think they have a right to know that. And what do we do with that information? So you tell us it has GMOs, and you want us to do what with that information? Well, I think just like if a food is homogenized or made from concentrate or irradiated, the <coughs> labels are required to be on food. Mm -hmm. So just like GMOs, we think it follows logic that they should be labeled as well. And even, much more. even if it says natural, that still doesn't mean that it doesn't have GMOs in it? Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of definition behind natural. 64% of people in our survey believe that natural means no GMO. Right, right. And yet, that's not the case. There is very little definition for what natural has to mean, and that's just one of the reasons we've been actually having a campaign to ask consumers and the government to ban the natural label. But I still don't understand, why can't we find out whether they're good for you or bad for you? Well, there's not a whole lot of testing that's out there, Charlie. There's not a lot of safety but testing why not? required. The government here doesn't mandate that. They do not require that before these things go to market that they're actually proven to be safe. But they've been on the market for a long time, haven't they? They'll, they've been on the market for probably the last decade, and they're certainly different enough to get a patent for. And if they're different enough to get a patent for, why aren't they different enough to demonstrate that they're safe? Okay, if natural doesn't reveal it, what if it says organic? So natural in the products we tested, almost all the only natural labeled had GMOs. When it came to other claims that were reliable, organic was very, very good. It's a certification program. It legally prohibits the use of GMOs, mm -hmm. and that was reliable. So as someone who does a lot of the, the grocery shopping, my husband's laughing out loud right now, um, why shouldn't I buy foods that have GMO? Is it going to do some GMOs and is it going to do something to my children you or know, to me? I think it's really about making informed choices and having people decide for themselves. Labeling is required in more than 60 countries by the same companies who fight labeling in this country. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is it hasn't destroyed GMO uh, production in any other country. People have a right to know whether it's in their foods. They want to know. If people wanted all blue M&Ms, they'd be labeling for blue M&Ms. So just like that, we think people have a right to know if foods are produced with GMOs. And if they're concerned about it, they need to have ways, and there are ways for them to actually avoid that. All right, and your number is so people can call you. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to discuss. Thank you, Yarashi Rangan. Thank you. It's always good to have you. Thank Thanks. God we're gonna have colored M&Ms. That's right, I was thinking that too. For all of the Consumer Reports findings, go to cbsthismorning.com.